Hi everyone. Welcome back to Frappy School. This is the third chapter in our procurement course and today we are going to discuss supplier quotations. By the end of this chapter, we will be able to understand what is a request for quotation or RFQ, how to configure the supplier portal, what is a supplier quotation and how to compare supplier quotations. Let's first understand how contacting multiple suppliers and requesting their quotes is important to find the best products in the right price. As an organization, when you need to purchase certain goods or services, you won't just contact a single supplier and buy goods from them. You will need to contact multiple potential suppliers and collect relevant information from them. In ERP Next, this can be done using the Request for Quotation feature. In response to this request for quotation, potential suppliers will share documents of information that are known as supplier quotations. These quotations will contain prices, product specifications and terms and conditions. Comparing different quotations from different suppliers will help ensure that you get the best deal. If you have sent out a lot of requests for quotations and received a large number of responses in return, you can even automate this process using the supplier portal in ERP Next. Once you select a supplier, you can issue a purchase order for them. Let's see how exactly this works in ERP Next. The first thing we will explore is how to create a request for quotation. To create a request for quotation, we can navigate from home to the buying module and go to request for quotation under the buying section. Here, we can see any previous requests for quotation and create a new one as well. Once we open a new request for quotation, we can import the list of items from different sources or add them manually. In the get items from list, we can choose to either fetch items from existing material requests or from an opportunity. Suppose we want to import items from a material request. We can select material request and choose the material request we want to take items from. All the items listed in that material request will now be filled in the items table in this request for quotation. If the sales team is pursuing a sales opportunity and has added the details of the items in the opportunity record, we can import those items directly into the request for quotation. If we have preferred vendors for items, we can select them in the item record under supplier details section. When we have multiple requests and items in these material requests, have a preferred vendor, we can pull off such items in request for quotation by selecting possible supplier under get items from option. Next, we can use the tools feature to send emails with requests for quotation to suppliers. When we further open the get supplier from option, we can import suppliers using a particular supplier group or import them depending on how they may get tagged. We can even manually add suppliers and items to their respective tables if needed. Once we do that, we can configure email details set terms and conditions and review print settings if we want. When all the details are added, we can save and permanently submit this RFQ. Once we submit the request for quotation, we can choose to send an email to all the listed suppliers by going to tools and then send email to suppliers. We can even download this RFQ as a PDF to send to different suppliers individually.
Since ERP Next allows us to add a supplier as a user to the system, suppliers can log in after receiving a request for quotation email and send their quotations. If a supplier doesn't have an account, we can navigate to their contact and click on the Invite as User button at the top. Once a supplier has logged in to the system, they can access information in the supplier portal like RFQs. They can open any particular RFQ, add their quotation details and submit it. Suppose a supplier has sent a quotation outside of the ERP Next system. In that case, we can manually add the supplier quotation either from the Connections tab in an RFQ or we can navigate in the Buying module and go to Supplier Quotation under the Buying section. Here, we can see all existing supplier quotations that we can filter by name, title, supplier name or even company. When we add a new supplier quotation, first we will have to add the supplier's name so that their contact and address details can be fetched. We can choose to import items from either an existing material request or an existing request for quotation. For example, if we want to import items from an existing RFQ, we can click on RFQ and select the relevant RFQ from the list. This will make sure that all items from the RFQ are added in the items table along with their quantities and rates. We can even link this supplier quotation to a material request. Apart from the items added through RFQs or material requests, we can even add entirely new items in the items table and define quantities and rates for each item like this. Let's now add details to this item. We can add an expected delivery date, the quantity of the item, the price of each and any discounts offered in percentage or as a lump sum. Once we add all the necessary details, we can save them. Once we have added all the items and their quantities, the total quantity will be calculated along with the total price and weight if mentioned. Next, we will have to define a currency and price list for this quotation if different from the default values and select the checkbox if we want a predefined pricing rule to be ignored. If the supplier will charge additional taxes or shipping charges, we can add those details here in taxes and charges. We can select a shipping rule or a tax template as well. And if any additional discounts are being offered on the total price, we can specify them here as well. Moving ahead, we can add a terms and conditions template and review print settings. After adding all the necessary details for this supplier quotation, we can save and permanently submit it. Once submitted, we can navigate to the create button and see that we can create a quotation or a purchase order from this supplier quotation if this supplier is selected. The aim of requesting multiple quotations from different suppliers is to compare them and select the one that fits right with the organization. We can compare all the supplier quotations we've received in the supplier quotation comparison report. 
we can navigate within the buying module and go to supplier quotation comparison report under the other reports section to view this here we can see a list of all the quotations sent in by suppliers and we can filter the results we see by date range item name supplier quotation or rfq we can even group the results by supplier group or by item this report compiles information all in one place and helps us decide which supplier we should work with to fulfill our material requirements that brings us to the end of the third chapter in our procurement course i hope this helped you understand request for quotations supplier quotations and how to compare various supplier quotations in erp next you can read more about erp next on docs.erpnext.com in the next chapter we will discuss purchase orders thank you